Hey, George here. Random Wikipedia. Warner and Swizzy Observatory. Warner and Swizzy Observatory. Warner and Swizzy Observatory is the astronomical observatory of Case Western Reserve University. Named after Worcester R. Warner and Ambrose Swizzy, who built it at the beginning of the 20th century, it was initially located on Taylor Road in East Cleveland, Ohio, USA. The observatory, which at that time housed a refractor, was donated in 1919 to the Case School of Applied Science. The new Burrell Schmidt telescope was built in 1939. Due to rising light pollution in Cleveland, a new station in Goga County's Montville Township was established in 1950s. Named after Jason John Nassau, the station initially housed the Burrell Telescope, which was later moved to Kitt Peak National Observatory. Instead of Burrell, the station was equipped with a 36-inch robotic telescope. In 2008, Nassau Station was sold to the Goga Park District and subsequently incorporated into its observatory park. The observatory currently operates the old 9.5-inch refractor, now known as the Rooftop Telescope, at the university's University Circle Campus, and the Burrell Schmidt Telescope at Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona. The old site on Taylor Road was sold in history. Thumb the observatory was originally built by Worcester R. Warner and Ambrose Swizzy, owners of Warner and Swizzy Company, which made precision instruments and telescopes in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. They became trustees of the Case School of Applied Science, later renamed to Case Institute of Technology, and built an observatory in East Cleveland, which they gave to the school in. This original observatory building was located on Taylor Road four miles east of the university campus and housed a 9.5-inch refractor, and was dedicated in 1920. The building was designed by the firm of Walker and Weeks. In subsequent years the observatory grew to house several more telescopes and instruments, such as the 2-4-inch Burrell Schmidt Telescope, as well as an astronomical library and public lecture hall. In the 1950s, it became apparent that the light pollution from Cleveland was beginning to make cutting-edge research impossible from the East Cleveland site. A new site was constructed 30 miles to the east in Goga County, known today as the Nassau Station, and the Burrell Schmidt Telescope was moved to this location. In order to compensate for the move, a 36-inch telescope was soon installed at the Taylor Road facility. The plan stalled when its new owner was convicted of mortgage fraud and sent to prison in 2007. Currently, the observatory building is abandoned. Burrell Schmidt Telescope The 2-4-inch Burrell Schmidt Telescope was originally built in 1939 by Warner and Swizzy Company of Cleveland, Ohio and was housed at the Taylor Road facility. It is currently housed at Kitt Peak National Observatory near Tucson, Arizona. The telescope recently had its optics upgraded with a very wide field of view CCD array, which is much more sensitive than the photographic plates. It is the instrument used today by the case astronomers. Nassau Station Robotic Observatory Nassau Station, originally constructed in the 1950s, currently houses a 36-inch reflecting telescope. It is named after observatory director Jason John Nassau, who was a prominent astronomer at the time. Work was carried out in the 1990s to make the telescope capable of remote viewing, making it one of the first telescopes to be used in this manner. However, it was seldom used by case astronomers due to increased light pollution from Cleveland and the enhanced capabilities of the Burrell Schmidt. As a result, the observatory was left unused for several years until 2008, when it was sold to the Goga Park District. The Park District reopened the facility as part of its observatory park on June 16, 2012. The park was designated as a dark sky park by the International Dark Sky Association. Rooftop Telescope The Rooftop Telescope is a 9.5-inch refractor that was originally constructed in 1894 by Warner and Swizzy for their own use. The telescope remains in excellent condition today and is available for use by all students, faculty, and staff at crew once they go through a seminar on proper telescope use. More recently, observations made using the Burrell Schmidt telescope led to the discovery of the galaxy Andromeda V in 2003. This galaxy orbits the more famous Andromeda galaxy, and was previously undiscovered due to its position in front of the bright disk of the parent galaxy. The Burrell Schmidt has also recently been used to image the intracluster light in the Virgo cluster. The intracluster light is a thousand times fainter than the night sky, 
and was observed after combining 70 images of the cluster, which were taken with the Borel-Schmidt telescope.